Disclaimer, I'm just a person, this is my opinion. I'm not saying that you're right or wrong, or I'm forcing you to think the same way that I do. If your opinion differs from mine, I respect it, and let's agree to disagree. Love him or hate him, The Weeknd is undoubtedly one of the most popular artists in recent years. I'm not saying that every single one of his songs is good, or that he single-handedly revolutionized the music industry like giving CPR to a dying corpse that's been ignored on the street for a few days because people thought it was a homeless man ready to mug them with a dirty needle or something. I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, The Weeknd makes great music. And that is why, surprise surprise, I'm a huge fan of him. I've been a huge fan of PP Gobbler since the mixtape days, the OGXO day, the House of Balloons days. Even before there was Kiss Land and Trilogy, I was there. I was there when the atmosphere was moody. I experienced the decadence, the pains and the sadness, also the hope for a better future as a new day comes, along with the excitement and anticipation for the night to come to do it all once again. Hell, some of my old time favorite songs are High For This and House of Balloons Class Table Girl. Well, to be more specific, the second part of the latter. Now that's out of the way, as much as I'd like to stay here and think about snorting coke off a hooker's ass with the weekend, let's get into the main topic of this video. I believe that too many people think that the world revolves around them. So much so, that it's actually worrying to think about. Okay, okay, I know you're ready to give me the good old Chris Brown one too. But before we do that, I would like you to just come with me on a journey. By clicking that like button and subscribe in order to see the context of this video. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. Oh, but in all seriousness. About two weeks ago, The Weeknd released a song in collaboration with Post Malone. The song is called One Right Now. And I think it was kind of meh. Mediocre. Wait, 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 put that chair down. I know, I know, I sound suicidal. But trust me, the pills are keeping the thoughts away for now. Just hear me out first, okay? The song is mediocre, and that is okay. Yes, I said it. As a huge, long time fan of The Weeknd, I don't like one of his songs, and I'm proud to say it. I know, I know, it's blasphemy. I don't deserve to be his fan, I better Game myself, man. yada 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 yada. And this is where we come to one of my points, which is smashing that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, I'm, I'm just kidding. But please do that. The point of this video is it is entirely okay to have an opinion on something without needing to engage yourself in an all out internet war against stands or be tracked into one. As soon as One Right Now was released onto the internet like a fully formed child with all of his organs kicked out of the house because their parents had too much fun one night and decided the best course of action would be betting on natural selection to take care of their mistake. And nature, of course, decided to drop it in freaking China of all places. What the hell, nature? All of that means is that people went crazy on the song. On one side, we have people saying, oh, it sounds too generic. Sounds like the vanilla ice cream, the watered down old free diet coke pepsi zero version of the weekend. We want the old sound back, we want the old weekend back. On the other side, we have even more people yelling at these people, calling them reta- Oh, I I'm sorry. Intellectually insufficient people, so they wouldn't understand the new sound. Telling them they are not true fans, their ears don't deserve to be blessed by the holy sounds that are produced from the vocal cords of a one true Lord Abel. And this is when I have a problem with this whole thing. Warning, warning, danger, danger. I'm about to do something that might seem love crafty at this point in the 21st century. I am about to have an opinion. Wow, <laughs> okay, shocking, I know. In my opinion, people are just too self centered nowadays. They just think the world revolves around them, and whatever combination of sounds comes out of their flaps are facts that have been scientifically tested and proven to be true by the celestial forces, who will wipe out the entirety of our non-meaningful existence if these facts aren't adhered to and agreed with by the masses. I am not saying that these people are wrong or right, I just think that there are always more than one way of looking at a situation. Now let's take a look into this one right now situation. Needless to say, it only takes your brain less than a minute, hopefully, 
to process that this song does not sound like the traditional weekend sound from the trilogy, Kiss Land, Beauty Behind the Madness Day. I'd argue that it doesn't sound like anything from Starboy or After Hours to an extent. The song is very pop, or as I know many OG fans hate to call it, mainstream. And uh, many people have rightfully and crudely pointed that out. But we have to look at it this way. By liking and subscribing and leaving a comment, we can have a healthy discussion and you guys can see whatever I post a new video. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness. This project is a collaboration with Post Malone, one of the more light-hearted pop artists who make mostly easy listening songs. You cannot expect the song to be about the downward spiral of a man addicted to success with nothing to lose who has to choose between his healthy relationship with a woman he truly loves and sacrificing said relationship in order to achieve his goals of making it in LA. The song has to be mainstream to reach a more to reach more people, you know, so that more of them can enjoy it without having the sudden urge to practice calligraphy on the forums. But well, believe it or not, the majority of people enjoy listening to fun and optimistic music. An artist's job and passion is to make music for people to listen to, not to please their fans in specific. And no, it's not, it's not similar to trying to please everyone at the same time. They are making a song that is easy for many people to enjoy. And we should be thankful that Abel is not selling out. Otherwise, we have another Drake, and I don't think anybody is ready for another certified lover boy. I know I don't. The mere thought of that abomination permanently reduces my IQ. And if you think otherwise, I respect your opinion, but let's agree to disagree. With all that being said, as a long-time fan of The Weeknd, it's easy to understand why people feel betrayed. Heck, I feel something similar. Number 10. I had hoped for something less mainstream than what we actually got. I think they could have found a better balance between the fun, upbeat rhythm of modern pop music and uh, the weekend's traditional, sometimes experimental R&B sound we all know and love. Something along the lines of uh, Save Your Tears or Blinding Lights or, and Heartless would be perfect. Another thing I usually hear in this case read from fans that the weekend has lost his old sound, he's no longer good. The old sound was better, we want the old sound back. And this applies to many successful indie bands out there as well. Arcade Fire, Radiohead, Arctic Monkeys, The Killers, just to name a few. I know that you like the old music, but please look at it this way. Artists have to grow, they have to develop their music, twist it, change it, try their best to make it sound better, more enjoyable and more available to everyone. They are not obligated to cater to your taste in music. They need room to experiment, try new things, take risks in order to improve. And that means something like Starboy, a very bass heavy album in which you can see the, a little bit of the 80s sound that uh, would later be utilized in After Hours. And hopefully in the upcoming The Dawn Is Coming. Oh my god, I need to please release that fuck, it's been so long, I need my fix, fuck! My point is that as much as we love the old weekend, we have to let the artist explore new things and improve his music. Not spend every moment forcefully vocalizing at his face that we need to go back to the drop out of high school, work, a dead end job in the morning and to a Ford truck field party in the evening days, you know? With all that being said, you can't fault us for wanting something more resembles the weekend we all know and love. As much as I like the new music, and, and, and believe me, I fucking love it. This man never misses and all that jazz. I would like to see a darker, downright, more depressing narrative along the lines of uh, the downward spiral from Nine Inch Nails. That would be fire. Just imagine that kind of narrative coupled with the sounds from Thursday, Echoes of Silence, and After Hours. Oh my god, kill me already. That shit would be lit AF. Okay, where was I? When you fall in love with something, you never want it to end. You want it to be around you all the time, to envelop you in its presence, to never let you go. You want it to be you. But in the end, we all have to come to a realization that life does not revolve around us. And we cannot make it so by venting our frustrations on other people who are just minding their business. Such as the artists and other fans of the weekend, at whose face people are screaming because they are trying to state their opinion. So, in conclusion. 
This whole thing makes my head hurt. Why can't people just enjoy what they enjoy? You know, leave other people alone. My message to you is: have fun. Try to be nice to other people. Enjoy your music. Try to look at things from both sides. And remember, you are not the center of the universe. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Or a local homeless man will mug you with a dirty syringe. Thanks for watching.